and what we're going to do is plug it in and test it. Basic way to test it, you don't need the hard drive or anything in or the screen. Uh, you just press the power button up top here and you should hear a couple of beeps and you should see the LEDs for the power button come on so we'll go ahead and test it okay you see the LED and you heard those little sounds so that's showing that the connection works and to actually test it further uh, what you want to do is you want to power it on and shake around the cord to make sure you don't have any uh, areas where the cord uh, are, ha doesn't connect where it has like a dead spot or something so again powering it on and shaking around the cord as you can see our port is pretty secure even though it looks torn up it's actually better than it was when it came from the factory because this thing uh, basically if you moved it a certain way it wouldn't charge and now it's perfectly charging because I added that extra support to it so now we can start reassembling the notebook. So to reassemble it, basically, do the reverse of everything. Remember we had two screws there. I just set those on my desk. And I'm going to put those back in. Okay. And again, I can't see the camera right now, so I'm kind of sorry if I I'm off screen here. Actually, I need to be off screen for a second because I can't get the screw in. Okay. Wow, uh, this screw really does not want to go back in. Okay, come out again. Shoot. Little ram doors fell on me. And this is the most stubborn screw I've ever seen. Never had this problem before. Probably the fact that I'm doing this on camera is why I'm messing up a lot. So let's see if I can get this screw in. Okay, finally got it in. So next thing what we need to do is turn it back over. And we're going to grab our screen. The reason we're going to put our screen back on first and then after we put our screen on, put the bottom case on, is because you have to run those antenna, antenna wires through the bottom case, which you won't be able to do with the bottom case on. So um, let me just grab the screws off the screen right quick. And we're going to grab our screen and just set it back in the holder. Then we're going to grab one of our screws right here, set it on the outside edge, screw it in. Just loosely screw it in so that you have all of them lined up. Then we're going to grab another screw, put it on the outside edge. And screw it in. We're going to screw in the other two. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to take this, uh, the dual antenna wires, and root it straight through this hole that you pulled it up from the first time. Then we're going to turn the computer over, closing the screen a little bit. And we're just going to pull it up. Actually, let me see if you can see it. I don't believe you can. Uh, but basically, just pull the wires up to um, this little black piece of tape that's here. Because that's where your wireless card is going to go. Then what we do is we turn it right back over. I'm making a mess of this with the camera and we re-guide the wires back into those little channels uh, that they were following earlier. And if you have you don't have enough slack 
just pull some of the wire back and uh, guide them through. Pull a little bit more back. And you can also use your screwdriver if you don't have fingernails like me and can't get them back into these little uh, sort of hooks that are in there. Just make sure you're not doing it too hard or else you'll damage the wire. Okay, I lost my camera for a second. Uh, I had to grab the power cord for it because it was dying. And basically we're still at the antenna wires after you root those through. Um, make sure you don't have that much slack in them and make sure that it's reaching to the um, bottom up front so that you can plug the antenna wires back into the wireless car. What you want to do is re put that little piece of brown tape back over them and on the other side where the uh, monitor connects to the motherboard you basically do the same thing you just push the connector straight down with even pressure on all sides Put that little piece of tape back over it, root it through these little channels uh, so that it's not sticking up when you put back on everything you have like a lump in your keyboard or something. So make sure there's not that much slack on either side making sure that uh, you know you don't have a lump when you put your keyboard back on. So next what we're going to do is close the computer down and what we're going to do is put the bottom case back on. And if the speaker comes loose, easily just slides back into place. It's not going to break or anything. So, grab our bottom case here. And we just put it straight back on first. What you want to do is you want to grab these um, uh, wireless car wires first and make sure that you put it behind this little white box because this is where your optical drive connects. And if you have the wires in front of that, your optical drive won't go in and you'll have to take it apart again. So uh, make sure that your wires come up through the first box here closest to your uh, Windows service tag. And it just slides on on the back. And remember up front, we have to lift these speaker grills one by one and sort of snap it back in place. So opening the computer back up. We're going to start putting the screws in that we took out from under the keyboard. So, uh, first off, I'm going to start with those two small, short metallic screws, just putting them back in the holes and tightening them down. If I can find the right screwdriver. Okay. And if I can get the screw in the hole. Okay, now next we're going to add all the other five brown screws. Um, there's two up here and there's three back here. Remember I just set them aside. I'm going to add the three back here first. Just screwing them in place. And the reason I had you... Um, to put the antenna wires down through the base of the computer before you put the base on is because like I said before these wires would be very hard to fit back into that same spot if the base was on there plus these screws screw into the base all of these screws hold the base on so they wouldn't screw into anything and they wouldn't tighten um, if you were to not put on the base they would just fall out basically So, let me see. Something's not going in right. Possibly. Let's see. Okay. okay. Next what we're going to put back on is the keyboard. 